In the United States, a departing president has the right to order the release of specific prisoners and Barack Obama has decided to use that power to intervene in the case of someone branded a traitor who has endangered American lives. President Obama has granted clemency to whistleblower Chelsea Manning. Now, those who followed the case will recall her as Bradley Manning, an army private responsible for one of the biggest leaks of classified documents in US history. Manning underwent a sex change and has twice attempted suicide while serving a 35-year jail term. As Matt Peacock reports, Obama's decision might also affect the future of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. He's currently holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. And a warning, this report contains graphic footage. This video footage leaked by Private Manning shows a US Apache helicopter attacking civilians in Baghdad. Roger, engage. One eight, engage. Clear. Come on. Amongst them, two Reuters journalists. It was dubbed collateral murder by Julian Assange's WikiLeaks organization. Oh yeah, look at that, right through the windshield. Come around clear. <laughs> the videos had the largest impact that showed uh, some of the actions being taken by U.S. forces overseas. And I think it really brought the world's attention on what was going on over there and how the conflicts were being fought. In all, 700,000 U.S. diplomatic cables and secret documents were made public sparking global outrage and deep embarrassment for the United States. The revelations polarised the country. Chelsea Manning is obviously a divisive uh, person. Some viewer is a traitor, some viewer is a hero. Um, and I think those sides are never going to see eye to eye. After her court-martial, Manning received hormone treatment as a transgender woman and became known as Chelsea Manning. She was sentenced to an unprecedented 35 years and has served her time in an all-male prison, twice attempting to take her own life. Shockwaves on Capitol Hill and all around the world after President Obama's surprise commutation of the sentence of Chelsea Manning. When you cut a 35-year prison sentence to just one-fifth of that, many people are going to think that's too lenient. She was, in the eyes of many Americans, a traitor. It was contempt what she and Snowden have done. Presidential pardons or clemency are a time-honoured tradition and can be controversial. President Clinton's 11th-hour pardon of tax evader Mark Rich was to haunt his wife Hillary years later. I did uh, uh, not uh, have any involvement in the pardons that were granted or not granted. I knew nothing about the Mark Rich pardon until after it happened. President Obama has prosecuted more people for leaking government secrets than all previous presidents combined. But he's now pardoned or commuted more sentences than Presidents Reagan, Clinton and both Bushes combined. Republicans are crying foul, with Senator John McCain calling it a grave mistake and Speaker Paul Ryan saying Manning's treachery put American lives at risk. There's some discussion about whether a new president, and of course the inauguration is coming up, whether a new president can overturn these commutations and pardons. Um, th this is irreversible and it can't be overturned. With Chelsea Manning soon to be free, attention's now swung to two other whistleblowers. Julian Assange, who published Manning's documents on WikiLeaks, is stuck in Ecuador's London embassy fearing US extradition. Edward Snowden is hiding in Russia after revealing massive state surveillance, some of it illegal, by the National Security Agency. And the reason these attacks happen is not because we didn't have enough surveillance. Julian Assange today described Manning as a hero and welcomed her release, calling the US to end its war on whistleblowers and publishers like himself. He welcomes the decision, but obviously it falls far short of what Miss Manning deserves. 
Miss Manning is a hero whose bravery should have been applauded. She should never have been prosecuted in the first place. And President Obama should have underscored that by pardoning her rather than just commuting her sentence. Only last week, WikiLeaks tweeted that if Manning were granted clemency, Assange would agree to US extradition. It remains to be seen if he will try his hand with President Trump. Well, at this point in time, the United States has yet to affirm or deny whether an extradition request has been sent to the United Kingdom. His lawyers are consistently attempting to clarify his status, and they will, after yesterday's decision, call on the Department of Justice to, un to end this unfair prosecution of Mr Assange. Mr Assange believes that if prosecuted in the United States in a fair trial, he would be acquitted. So the question is, would he be given a fair trial? Will he be able to assert a public interest defence, which is a fundamental right for publishers. With Obama granting um, clemency to Chelsea Manning, it does probably set the stage by which the next president, if he so chose, to take leniency or take some action um, in relation to Julian Assange. Edward Snowden, the White House, was quick to point out, is in a different situation from Chelsea Manning. The crimes that he's accused of committing are serious, and, and we believe that he should um, return to the United States and face them, rather than seeking refuge in the arms of an adversary of the United States that has their own strategic interest in disseminating information in a harmful way. You've heard me note that the, that, that is one of, the, um, uh, one of the many differences between uh, Mr. Snowden's case and, uh, and Chelsea Manning's case. Already, though, the world is a different place in the wake of these huge intelligence leaks. It's not that the spying has stopped. It's just that we're unlikely to hear about it so dramatically again. These revelations were, were one of the most significant things to have hit the intelligence, security and military communities for a long time. Um, in the wake of that, um, all countries, Australia included, the US included, have done a lot of work in trying to rectify those situations. Yeah, we got one guy crawling around down there, but uh, yeah, we gotta, definitely got to come. As long as there's a corruption, as long as there's abuses of power, there will always be brave people who step forward and blow the whistle on such abuses. So I sincerely hope that people will continue to do so and hold these agencies to account. Come on, fire.